Here we go. Here we go. Are we live? Here we go. Are we live? Here we go. Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? I think we are live. I think we are live. Welcome to dinner. We are live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to everyone's favourite time of the day. It's dinner time. Yeah. We're going to be cooking up some stuff in the studio. I say we. Emma's and Barry are going to be cooking up a delicious dinner for you to watch along, maybe cook along with as well, with whatever you're cooking at home. Um, and also, we're going to pitch to each other a drinks pairing, because Evers has had some, some rather interesting DM slippage, haven't you? DM slippage? Well, I mean, so slippy. Are we talking so about, we talking about that now? Yeah. So oh, slippy. Right. <laughs> we've been having some chats, because the, the Can Makers Committee approached us to say, yeah. you guys always talk about so many different factors around the future of food and sustainability and all sorts, and a lot of them sort of marry up to what we're talking about. Maybe we should talk about it together. So that's what this is. So, in order to obviously add a sort of spin and make it competitive, we're each going to pitch to the group a canned premium drink mm. and why we chose it, and then we're going to try them all and have a chat, eat some delicious food. We've got pedo, right? Yeah, we're going to make a Turkish lamb Pide, uh, super simple. It's going to be one of the recipes that's going to go on Psychic uh, later in the week or next week. Oh. So this is like a, like a teaser of what's to come. Barry is going to make the bread, which is literally equal quantity of Greek yogurt and self raising flour with a pinch of salt. It's done. F it up. <laughs> and I'm going to chop up an onion and some garlic. First things first, though. Can you comment down below and let us know where you're joining us from? Because we're here in the studio in East London, but we don't know where you are. And there's already been a bunch of comments from people saying they're in... Wisconsin, I saw Japan, I saw the Netherlands, I saw someone that's even as far away as Poplar. As po Poplar? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Poplar. really? Yeah, yeah. I came through Amazing. Poplar this morning. Did you? Yeah. Was it, was it busy? Popped through Poplar. So many people there? Was it quite... Uh, uh, not the time Poplar. I came in. <laughs> we were very popular at school, weren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Some of Whoa. Us. <laughs> right, so the base of this pita, really simple bread dough, flour, yogurt, equal quantities, and a pinch of salt. Bring it together, knead it for a couple of minutes, and then you can use that for a pita. But also, I've done it a few times as just a flatbread at home to go with a curry or something Almost else. Almost like a cheats naan, it can yeah. double up as, but in this instance, it's a cheats pide, which is like a, I think Hello. it's like a Turkish Hello. pizza, Turkish flatbread. Hello. Simple as that. Uh, we're getting lots of love uh, from all over, uh, all over the world, actually, um, but not a lot of love for Michael's what's, microphone. What's wrong with it? Is it working? Hello? One, two, three? Is it working? Can you hear him? Again, oh, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, comment down below. Whose mic is working? Is Mike's mic working? If not, he's going to have to just shout really loud. <laughs> <That'd be silly. laughs> Uh, yeah, Pennsylvania, Norway, Louisiana, Liverpool, Hertfordshire, big up. Woo! Poland, <laughs> Czechia. Literally all over. Right. Amazing. We haven't done one of these for a while, and we, every time we do it, we always say the same thing. Which, it's really nice and chilled together. Like, we've been in the studio all day today. We've been recording some fun new stuff that's coming away soon. Uh, the team are here. It gets to five o'clock, and we think, well, we could go home. Or we could just stay and cook ourselves dinner and go live. And it's, well, it's so easy. We just don't do it often enough. I took a really lovely photo on a filming day last week uh, and realised that there, was, there were three different secrets in that one photo. Seems like that. Yeah. Easter eggs. Well, yeah, but, I, but it meant I couldn't post them. Now, one of them has oh, been revealed, okay. which is fine, because uh, it's similar to what Baz is wearing in his T-shirt. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. but the other two are still... No, the other no. one's been revealed, one of which was been the live show, yeah. which oh. is coming up in a uh, couple yeah. of weeks' time. But then the other one hasn't been revealed. We've teased things, but it's still a secret. So and it feels like there's a lot of secrets. Well, it's because we're always trying new stuff, always trying new stuff as inspired by you guys, because mm. we listen to all the comments, which is what we're going to do today as we talk through midweek cooking and drinks pairing. Best friends always have secrets. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm it's something about in the biography one year, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. Right, apparently, um, now that you've turned your microphone on, everyone can hear you. Right, so that's well, good. Well, yeah. Didn't turn it on. It's a wobbly wire, so I'm just not going to move. <laughs> <laughs> right, who's thirsty? Yes. <laughs> oh, you, ben, you always are. Shall I, shall I start? You can start. Oh, well, yeah. I'm surprised you haven't started already. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start with my choice. So all of these drinks today are canned premium drinks, mm -hmm. and they're all a celebration of the kind of using, obviously, can, the Can Makers Committee, and it's everyone involved it's a secret, it's a in... What are you going to doing? Well, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's what we do. We closh it. It almost fits. So my canned drink of choice... I'm going to come around here. ...is... 
that. It's the wrong way around. Yeah, well, well, Jack. Yeah. Patrick, well, what is it? This yeah. is a can <laughs> of, I'm going to keep it basic at first, sparkling wine. Okay. So I think sparkling wine is such a wonderful, wonderful occasion and celebration. And you associate maybe the popping of cork with really celebratory things and kind of like friends and family and good occasions. But it's such a wonderful drink, why do you have to limit yourself to only enjoying it when you've got enough people or friends to enjoy 750 mil? A bottle? A bottle. Okay. okay. Why not a single portion, which is why I have cans much like this. This is uh, the Uncommon, so it is English, British wine in a can, sparkling, absolutely delicious. So it's not champagne, because it's not from champagne, it's not Carver, it's not Prosecco, it's English sparkling wine and it's a single portion. So all the wonders of sparkling wine, but you don't have to wait for a celebration worthy of opening an entire bottle and popping mm. the whole cork, you can just have a single portion. Is that a 250? That's a big portion of sparkling wine as well, because you usually get, what, no, 125 no, 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 or 175? Yes, I think you could share that, couldn't you? Two you could share that. That, that could go between two individual flutes, or in my case, one glass. So one large glass of wine, or two flutes, but it means you can actually, whether you're on your own or a couple with two flutes, you can enjoy sparkling wine without committing to an entire bottle. That's why I think sparkling wine is a nice option. Plus, you can in the summer months you can take it to the picnic and have like a take it to the park and have a picnic. With what it. if you've only got a clarinet? <laughs> Not everyone plays the flute. I'm just there's different woodwind oh, instruments that you could you use. You could put it in a coupe. A coupe? Or I prefer it just in a wine glass, nice and easy. Boys, uh, what I'm what I'm enjoying about this battle is how much of a lovely time I'm having, not like faffing or panicking. <laughs> we're not in dressed in silly outfits, there's no pressure on what we're cooking, it's just sit back. Well, it's got a taste And don't burn your onions, Evers! Let's just get a nice bit of golden colour on the onions, yeah, and sure while we're there, I'm also going to add in two tablespoons of tomato puree, one, two, two teaspoons of cumin, Hello. ground cumin, not not. You should have asked Baz. He told you straight away. <laughs> one teaspoon of ground coriander and one teaspoon of smoked papri paprika. Yes. Right. And then I want you to comment down below. How many of you enjoy sparkling wine in a can? How many of you are on board with my choice of sparkling wine? Evers, right now, especially English sparkling. They're already ahead of you. Uh, Alex says it's mm. easier to find vegan sparkling wine than standard. So I drink a lot of sparkling wine. Oh, um, mm. What happened? You went all the way to Australia only to have canned English wine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not in this oh, It's good. So it's Bacchus. Yeah. So it's a lovely grape that grows really, really well. Well, you we glasses. Well, you can always have a taste. Yeah, we're all friends. Everyone in good health? Yes, yeah, yeah, everyone's in good health. Yeah, whatever. It's got those lovely kind of herbaceous notes that you get off of like almost. It's very tasty, that. It is herbaceous. Almost similar family to like. Tastes nice. Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> so it tastes it's nice. It's lovely. It's a good it's premium. Really nice. This is this wine. is this is where you show us up, Evers. I mean, you have studied a lot more than us in many areas, but especially within wine. Yeah, completely. Well, I actually drink a lot of sparkling wine and Proseccos, etc, etc. And I have to admit that a lot of the time, me and my wife will open a bottle, we'll have one, maybe one and a half yeah, glasses. Pop the spoon in the top of the bottle. And I'm so tired <laughs> from being a dad <laughs> that one and a half glasses puts me out of action yeah. and we go to bed yeah. to sleep. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sleep. Yeah, that's out the window. Yeah, yeah. I still think the, uh, the thumbnail from the other day's video needs some context still. Mike made that thumbnail just for context. <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> just for fun, but people were very confused. Always, well, always happy families, yeah. but sometimes a glass for a second is yeah. all you need. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, Did so you click? Did you watch it? You're welcome. I'd say good choice, and I can actually see that being a part of my life. And I have to be honest, and this is not small violin time, but just because I live alone shouldn't deprive me of enjoying just a single glass, large glass, or two flutes, mm -hmm. of sparkling wine when I want it. You don't have to wait for friends and family. The only thing I would say, there is a romanticism about popping a cork of sparkling yeah. wine. Yeah. Not quite the same with the <laughs> but everything else is going for it. Because you can't really you give can up. still get quality in a can. You can't really give up. Way after. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Linda says she's never heard of sparkling uh, wine in a can before, but it sounds like a great idea. Well, if you think about it, there's lots of canned drinks we're all probably more familiar with, sodas, and they're all sparkling. So, it's much the same. So we're adding lamb into our uh, lovely onion it, mix. The sparkling wine and a can of Coke's the same. No, I'm not saying they're the same, but they Is have... soda? Pretty much the same. Yeah, it's something you can enjoy lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> a 
glass at lunch in moderation. <laughs> All this drinking is in moderation and responsibly. Oh, well done. Lovely. Uh, right. Is anyone else thirsty? Yeah. Yes, yeah. please, Jamie. Oh, right. Go and get yourself a drink. Only had a sip. While you do that, I'm, uh, I'm, I've added the lamb mince into here, which has obviously got a lot of lovely natural lamb fat. We're going to fry that off for five minutes or so, oh. and then uh, leave it to cool. Meanwhile, Barry is beginning to press out his dough. So he made it literally five minutes ago, um, and now he's beginning to press it out into a long rectangle, two of them, at which point we'll make our pides. How thin do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, a bit more, a bit more, a bit, bit more, more, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Jay, what have you put under your cloche? Oh, no, this is Mike's cloche. Oh, Mike, is this what me? have you put okay, under your cloche? Lads. Yes, Michael. And audience. Voila. Oh, it's the wrong way around. Yeah, great. <laughs> I can't see it now, what does it say? <laughs> this here <laughs> is hip hop kombucha. Obviously, this spoke to me. <laughs> Because it's ginger and yuzu flavour. Okay. <laughs> but looks really cool. I haven't tried it. I just bought it, so we're going to try it for the first so time. So you, you, you're judging a book by its cover. Well, I did a little bit of research. So Kenny and Emma. It's a small business. Kenny, they live on a farm, I think, in Cheshire. Um, Kenny had some gut issues. Went to America. They're all drinking kombucha out oh, there. Yeah, the first time I had it. Alleviated some of the issues. Went back and said to Em. Should we make kombucha? She showed them how. Now they started producing it. Nice. And I don't want to be, I don't know, basic, but when I see a great taste badge on a label, I trust it. And I, I, think, I know some of the judges. Decent. I know yeah. some of the judges. They're lovely people with excellent tongues and palates, so I trust their judgment. Okay, so wow. we're going to try this. We're going to try a ginger and yuzu kombucha. Um, I love a sparkling drink, I'm not going to lie. Love an energy drink. You do. Everyone you knows do. that. I drink too many of them. I need to stop. I need to drink something uh -huh. vivacious and tasty. But also, what I like about the idea of kombucha is that it's not just tasty and delicious. It's good for your guts. Yeah, it's got that funk, isn't yeah. it, as well? It feels uh, like an adult, non-alcoholic drink in a way that lots of other drinks I'm gonna don't. I'm going to put it there yeah. so we yeah. can look see it. it. Oh, no, no, no. no. Really and what I would say, yeah. there's we more of them than there are you. No, oh, no. What I would say about like drinks pairings is it you're not limited to just that. Like you say, it's, it's like an adult soda or an adult pop. Yeah. And there's like, they have like a, I don't know, I'm making oh, this up, good. 10 or dozen different flavours. Oh, that's really good. Which means good. you can pick one that pairs with what you want. I win. That's great. I, I win. win. <laughs> it is like, oh, it's absolutely lovely. It's got the lovely sour taste of a kombucha, but it's really fruity and it's like ginger beery, obviously, because of the ginger. But that's. It's well, not they a do funky. a really nice blood orange one. It's, as well, well, like it's not There's an overly funky no. kombucha. There's lots of people in the comments saying that they're looking for more adult, non alcoholic drinks. They don't drink alcohol for various reasons and they would like to have. I think kombucha is a great way to go. Yeah. I think it, when, we, when it first came to our shores after its popularity elsewhere, bearing in mind kombucha is like hundreds yeah. or thousands of years old, but it was quite pretentious and it was sold in quite pretentious ways. It was like hipstery, wasn't it? But now it's just in a can. It's so much more accessible and easy and, you know, a single portion and you can have it at any time of the day. But if it, I like, I like, it. full disclosure, mm. I, I met the guys of uh, hip hop when I was at the Gold Food um, in Dubai at the... Um, why haven't we had this conversation? Hmm? What do you mean? What? I'm, I'm submitting this, and you already know the founders. <laughs> 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 and I met, but it's weird, I met them on the other side of the world, talking about the future of food, and like, a, an expo for brand new food brands that are doing good things, the and then I was like, but we're local, <laughs> we're, we're basically neighbours. Mm -hmm. So the same, yeah. Ish. A trip to a shop. Ish. Yeah. Um, <laughs> people are saying, Mike, that the kombucha is a really good idea for you, because you need to stay away from the caffeine. Mm. Um, they've noticed the shaking. I've been shaking well before caffeine. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, people saying you're quite literally vibrating. It's, uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that's that's just on a sexual caffeine. frequency. Oh. Oh, happy birthday, Izzy. Not our Izzy. Different Izzy. Excuse happy me, birthday, Jim. Izzy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Izzy. Uh, Cassandra has been too scared to try kombucha. Don't have to buy a big bottle of it. Buy a can of it, give it a go. Oh, you like it. Oh, you, what, gosh, it's over there. 
Yeah, I am really thirsty actually, Baz. I'm gonna do, oh, I, I, I haven't been asked it, but I'm going to do mine now, is that right? What do you mean, why do I have to wait until Because you're busy doing comments! It's too busy oh, at the no. front. <laughs> it's really busy, I'm going to move this. Put this in front well, meanwhile, I, meanwhile, I'm chopping up some parsley and some mint, and now that the lamb is all cooked and it's come off the heat, I'm going to stir this through and season it to taste. Now, my turn. Ready? Nobody cares! <laughs> right, okay. This. Oh, another wine? Oh, we've already had a wine actually. No, but this is from the canned wine company. Yeah, but Can we've already had a wine, so it doesn't. No, no, this, this, he had a sparkling wine. This is the stuff you stole. This is. <laughs> this is the stuff you stole. No, not this one. No, he's drunk that one. So, yeah, a, li a little while ago. So, um, there's been no research that's taken place whatsoever. No, 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 you stole stuff. No. It was from the studio. Oh, no, no, I was doing research! Right. So, we were very kindly given by the canned wine company a like a multi-pack of their delicious wines from around the world. They collect some of the finest wi wines, can them, it's so good. that you can have over a course of like again whatever night you want, you can have just one can for, of a delicious wine and kind of get that taste without having a massive outlay on a big bottle. So I found it really useful over the course of a couple of weeks having four cans and going, I'm going to travel to a different part of the world and pair it with a different dish. You this don't have to finish the rest of the bottle of wine if you don't like it. Yeah, but I'm the same as ever. I, pr I practically live alone because Hayley and Austin can't drink wine. Or right, don't so like, don't you like wine. You practically live alone except for your wife <laughs> and your <laughs> son. Yeah. 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 You're the husband. Wife. The <laughs> You're the husband. <laughs> no, it's right, yeah. I said that. You said, yeah, yeah. You said that. Right. Yeah, I'm but dreaming. In terms of when it comes to drinking, I live okay, alone. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, yeah, I find one can is just is perfect for me. And this is a, a gourmet. Gamay. 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 Gamay is the grape that's typically found or only found in Beaujolais, so in sort of south of Burgundy. It is a lighter red wine, but this particular one is from a few tens of miles west of that in uh, Loire. Also, so it's same grape. ever so slightly cold because it's a lighter red. There's lots of people in the comments saying that they obviously trust you because you, you're a sous chef now. So obviously oh. you're, when the, when the sous chef says it's, good. I it's get, I get nice wine, then nice you wine. know <laughs> it's someone <laughs> to believe. I haven't tried it, I haven't tried this one. <laughs> You'll love it. It's one of my favourites. Right, so... Oh, that is good. Oh, my, that is so fruity. Vivacious, I would say. Vivacious. What does that even mean? Vivacious. This went for a word. Sounded chef didn't it? A um, couple of people pointing out I probably should make a little bit of a correction with the kombucha. Not necessarily 0% alcohol. No, it can be up can to 0.5. Yeah, low percentage <laughs> yeah. Um, alcohol. Uh, also, people saying other adult-style drinks like CBD Chef. seltzers. I've, I've done the Good Rays before. Yeah, Good yeah, Rays, they're, trip. They're nice. I've tried those. I, I, I like those. They're no idea whether I felt anything or whether they chilled me out or anything, but they were delicious drinks. So, mm, delicious. Mm. So, what are you getting, Barry, in your, in your gamay? It's, it's actually quite fruity and mm -hmm. almost cherry like. Mm. Vivacious is a, is a lovely word. I'd, I'd also it, go it, it, Vivaldi. 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 Yeah. What, spring? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I, I know what you mean. It's ooh. got a vibrancy. Yeah, yeah, it's got a yeah. vibrancy. Vivacious. Yeah. Vibrant. Voluptuous. Voluptuous. Yes, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and leaning into more of the red fruit than the dark yeah. fruit, but a yeah. little bit. You're right with cherry and plum. You need a V. Yeah. And oh, that, well, that that very, very nice. Very, very nice. Excellent. It's quite vimto isn't it? Vimto. <laughs> <laughs> It's not. It's velvety. Velvety. Hey, how's your pita coming along? So, basically, this one's better. Um, so, <laughs> we put totally the lamb good. mix down the middle, kind of roughly folded it over into this kind of shape and tweaked it at the end. Uh, and then, it gets a little bit of feta put over the top. Oh, no, it doesn't That's later. That's We're going to bake Calm it down. off. And then we finish it with, like, a feta yoghurt. Um, so, that needs about 10 minutes in a hot oven. 10 to 12 minutes. I'll make a feta yoghurt. You know what? You know what that leaves us time for? What? I'm really thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ooh, excited. Oh, hello, Ellis. <laughs> That's a bit cute. We bounced at the same time. <laughs> Go! Did you touch buttons? Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, oh which, I've which, seen these before. Which way round is it? Which way round? Well, stop cheating. Are you the only one that's actually put it around the right way? Yes, and that's okay because I know what it is. Are we ready? I know this lot. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, sorry. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Oh, he's got to clean down. Evers, this is live. Evers, you, you see even more, in, even even more important, important to clean there. down and keep, keep tidy as you can live. All yours, Jay. Right. Now, this might be no surprise. pressure, but sparkling wine done, low no alcohol kombucha done, classy red wine from France done. Where are you taking this? Well, this might surprise I can't you. wait to hear what you're going to say. It's going to be really interesting. I've gone for a little one. Oh, I've gone little. for premium cocktails mm -hmm. in a can, mm -hmm. which is something that is actually quite right new because this. previously, I think, like in years gone by, cocktails in a can weren't seen as a good thing. They were seen as a train drinks. A convenient a train drinks. Exactly a convenient that. Convenient last resort. Yeah. Whereas there are now. <laughs> There are now a number of companies <laughs> that are actually doing uh, proper cocktails designed by mixologists, yeah, uh, and putting them into cans. And I find it incredibly convenient, not just for trade beers, but actually at home. Uh, so this one's a margarita. Yeah, moth. They do an espresso martini that I get. Yeah, Which espresso. They do Negronis. They do. Um, they do an old fashioned that's really good as well, actually. And like, oh, hello. For the I first, knew you might like that. <laughs> for the first time in a long time, actually great. having a. Uh, a cocktail from a can that's of decent Because you don't have to buy all the stuff and do it yourself. Exactly. Like I don't need all of the big bottles of alcohol to make a margarita. No. On an occasion that I'm going to make a margarita. Like no. I also think though I'm a I'm a wino, so hands up, I like wine. But there is something wino. so wonderful. Wino. Something. A wino. It's not a thing. A wino. A is that a better? It's a massive <laughs> yeah. wine. I do, I do wine Winger. occasionally, but I wine often. A wine. Um, <laughs> I. But my point being, you don't have to be an expert to drink wine. You just unscrew a cap or pop out a cork and pour it. Whereas making cocktails, you actually need to know what you're doing. Mm. Yeah. Whereas this just gives you all of the instructions that you need. Tequila, triple sec, lime, dance. Nice. <laughs> What's this one? And this is... And if Mike sleep playlist. That's why Mike has so those. Mm. So oh, no, so no nice. ice, nothing else with that? Just like well, you can clean. have it on the rock. Yeah, but you can have it on the rocks. You could do a salty rim. If you wanted to, I know you like a salty rim, so you could do that. You could have it on the Ooh. rocks, but actually having it in a classic spicy martini. Mark. I quite Delicious. like a little spicy mark. Put a little like slice of chili in there, and a. I know you like a margarita. Also, mm. I like the fact that again, when people come over, oh, it's the nice. variety you can bring to a night by having lots of it out as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you just could have like two margaritas or three margaritas. <laughs> What's going to happen after each one that you have? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You dance, you dance, lots of, da lots of dancing, dancing. Yeah. lots of dancing. dancing. And we should probably say, these are just some <laughs> examples. These are all brands that we like and we already use at home and are, are fond of as cans. But I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they're all available in supermarkets <laughs> in the UK. So that's not like they're so readily available. <laughs> right there. Are you okay? It's such a grown up wine, <laughs> it's really struggling. We're in a hung up hole, sorry. <laughs> Did you get stuck in your gammy? Yeah. Eh? yeah, my gammy, yeah. <laughs> there's, um, <laughs> there's someone in the comments called Monkey Mixology. Yep. Saying um. canned cocktails are okay, but as a pro, nothing beats having a cocktail made for you or making it yourself. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Agree. Well, Absolutely. Yeah. Like, there's I nothing better than <laughs> stomping your own grapes, but not everyone has the chance to do it. Yeah. <laughs> We've done that. Yeah. <laughs> We've done that twice. <laughs> we did that twice in the space of a month. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Different parts of the world. In Georgia and close to Georgia. Mm. Fairly, yeah, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 When someone knows what they're doing. Ah, oh, we can here. I'll get so. Well, actually, it's espresso martini. I won't get sleepy. <laughs> oh, Where's funny. my crema? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Just to shake it. Um, you shake it. People yeah. are surprised yeah, that you've not mentioned it. that you like wine before. I, I, I'm trying to keep it to myself. Trying to keep it to myself. Keep what? Uh, Rory's asking, what are the units on the can? Well, every can is different, but it will say on the can because it, it kind of has to. I think the well, espresso martini was like 14 and a bit percent. Yeah, I, I was surprised actually. Mine was 14.9 percent because in my mind, canned cocktails like a gin and tonic or something like that, or they do like JD and Coke and things like that. It's like five to six percent, whereas this is like cocktail strength. Which is talking Which about ABV, units. but as units, like for example, the red wine is 3.1 units of alcohol. One so that's nine, two though. small glasses of wine, or again, one large glass of wine. <gasps> there is a company called Clary. Dram in a Can who do whiskey. So rather than having to buy a full bottle of whiskey, just get one in a can. That's a brilliant idea. I love that. Then uh, Tony's asking me wine or gin. I think right now I'm going through a wine phase, but I do like gin too. And you can get nice gin and tonics pre-mixed in cans, I like all of those. But I, it's just such a shift from where we were before, where the only soft drink option was sodas that were really, really sweet or diet versions. 
and you couldn't get quality wine or cocktails in the can. Where times have changed, and now we've demonstrated four different things. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think there's a bit of a... Well, there was a bit of a stigma. Like, drinks in cans, it's like, convenience, grab it, on the go. You're not going to get a can of a, a drink out at, like, friends' houses, or, like, if you've got people round. It's not like, look what I've got! Whereas now, I think you can absolutely do it, and... Not so much a stigma, but you're actually but adding, you're adding variety and choice. I found now, I actually... I recommend this to, when I meet someone who's into their wine, I'm confident enough to know that these wines are good enough to recommend. I wouldn't recommend one bottle to anybody because I don't trust myself. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because the wine is so subjective. Yeah, whereas I go, these guys, I know they're selecting good ones, and you can try lots without having to get through lots of bottles. So I find it a, a, a more affordable way as well of just travelling the world through wine. And the same with cocktails, because actually all drinks are so... We talk about wine pairings, mm. and there is a logic yeah. to what... Food pairs nicely with wine, for sure there is a logic, but also it's so subjective, and if you like one thing over another and you want to pair it with something else, go for it. I actually think, as a pairing, your um, gamay is probably the closest to the lightly spiced, fatty lamb dish that we've got going on with the salty feta. But Does that mean I win? No, as, as a drinks pairing, <laughs> it's arguably <laughs> the best on that, but we're all fighting different corners here, and mm -hmm. lonely old Ebers doesn't want to open a whole bottle of fizz, so that's why I think this is perfect for I love me. how you're dining up the lonely thing now so you can win a battle. Yeah, sympathy yeah. votes. Bring them in. That's, I think, <laughs> no I think this is the way forward. As if you wouldn't see off an entire bottle of sparkling wine on your own. <laughs> I don't... I mean, it has been known. No, I think that's unfair. I don't think I actually have. I think I've probably done two bottles with someone else. Two bottles? Mm. But I've never done one bottle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you're quite yeah. to the same. I don't think I would do one on my own, but I have done two with a friend. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the same thing, right? such a sad, happy... <laughs> situation like just pop yay <laughs> well and also there's nothing wrong with that if, if, no, if a no. bottle of fizz is your thing I'll go for it yeah I'll drink some like fizz of mine this is actually really nice now, now that I've had to Sorry, whisk yeah. it with a fork my bad Sorry. yeah people saying that you can't make crema with a spoon no uh, with a fork however <laughs> look at that <laughs> <laughs> that's two millimetres of crema the one thing that we've not talked about canned beer yeah as well um, and a huge rise of craft uh, craft beer so much of it uh, and also protecting from um, the beer from the sunlight, which yeah, yeah. we've had experience oh, from, haven't we? Yeah, we've still got a bottle. So, we, uh, yeah, a long time ago, we, um, we, we brewed our own beer. There's still one bottle, one bottle over there. That hasn't exploded. <laughs> yeah, because lots of all the others did because we put them in well, clear it was bottle bottles. bottle condition, so it, it has a date to it anyway. It, yeah. wouldn't, it wouldn't last forever in anything because it's bottle conditioned, but because it basically was see-through, it was affected by the sunlight and yeah, the UV lights they got in the quite, so when you university them, fridges. They didn't explode, explode, but when you opened them, they were very active. Yeah, They probably um, taste yeah. like kombucha now. <laughs> 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 I would not dare touch that. But craft beer is another one. And, and now you can get, obviously, the, the, the quality like coffee in mm. a can. And again, that started as perhaps the, the very average coffee, but now <coughs> you can get really quality cold brew coffee in a can. Mm -hmm. It's just this rise of premium drinks okay. in cans for all of the reasons we've mentioned. Here's a question. If Sorted were to launch something in a can, oh. what should that something be? And it's not oh. allowed to be roast chicken. Do you remember that roast chicken in the can we had? Yeah, that's not, that that's not terrible. Big I, think, chicken. I think it should be a snake. You know like one of those things when you open it, it pops out like a... Like a, a joke. Jack in a box. Go back to the comments. Right, fine. <laughs> um, <coughs> Dad's saying, uh, cannot wait to shop for canned drinks when we visit London in the summer. Going to be a very fun picnic Ooh. in the park. Primrose Hill. Couple of cans. Oh, I was there at the yeah, weekend. Yeah. Do you know what? In the spring, with the blossom, Primrose Hill is... What's Beautiful. the fish and chip shop around the corner? Poppies. Poppies. No. No, no not around the corner here, around the corner. Yeah, yeah. there's a really posh um, one. You had a place, didn't you? Oh, watch our video, London's Best Fish and Chips. James okay. picked one around poppies. the corner. From it's not poppies. It was no, poppies. poppies Shut in the up. Ditch. Did you get poppies? I got poppies. Yeah, I, yeah, I went to I Camden got and I got poppies. You got Jamie. He was hooked. Unbelievable. Jamie's right. memory of his own videos <coughs> is useless. Yeah. You can't remember what you cooked yesterday. Also, poppies. I went to poppies. Whose comment was that that said, can't wait? Can't wait to come to London to buy canned drinks. Yeah. Yes, but surely you can get premium canned drinks wherever you are. Surely it's not it's not just a UK thing. There is again. You go to a, a fancy off license here now. The selection in cans is is There's really of impressive. Stuff, isn't it? Really cool. Guys, where's dinner? <laughs> it's it's oh, nearly yeah. there. It's maybe three <laughs> minutes off, and then we're going to put a nice fatty yogurt on. And the last thing, of course, is that metal recycles forever. So a lot of people say like it's. It's quite literally thinking outside of the box and or bottle into cans for sustainable reasons. We've talked... Do you remember we did the flat wine bottles? 
that were plastic. They would go through they would go they would go through letter boxes and they were lighter weight distribute than yeah. glass bottles. Well like cans are even lighter still and made from recycled mm. metal and then are recyclable. So they have that kind of constant loop. Um, what do they call it? Literally recycles forever. Yeah, and that's like it. We've, 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 we've got the idea, by the way. Yeah. Oh. The, the idea is in. We already have our own gin. We just need to put it in cans. Why aren't we well, putting mixers. that in a can well, with a mixer? Point. We've got some. We've got, we've Why do you need a mixer? Shrub, shrub, shrub. Why do you have <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry gin with, well, I think we was... An elderflower tonic. Yeah, that's, really tonic. that's what we said. In a can. With, the, with sparkling wine, it tastes good. That's really quite, that's really that. really quite we sensible. Really quite, oh, we could probably do that in time for the summer. <laughs> <laughs> if we get moving quick. <laughs> we've still got vats that's of the really stuff. Why do we have that? That's really silly. What an what a, what a obvious idea. Thank that's you so much. The best idea is the obvious ones. Damn. Pass it on in a can. Two ingredients, one thing card. Open, add three ingredients, and add two more cooks in order. Like that's so. A, so well, it's, a game, board it's a game. It's a game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Is it great? Um, Ebert, how do you feel about Courtney like Louise is going to Camden in London? Camden. 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 Oh, okay. Camden. Um, how do you feel about like all these so far? We've decanted into beautiful glassware. How do you feel about drinking premium wine out of the can? So what I like about premium wine is the location ship. We've only talked about at home, midweek, mm. really convenient for the, all the reasons we've mentioned. If you go to the theatre, a lot of theatres are serving them now you because... You sneak it in. You have <laughs> no, in the interval, they're really quick to serve. Rather yeah, than sure. measuring out exactly the right amount, it's just like, there's a can job done. Everyone goes to the seat. <laughs> <laughs> no, hands fall everywhere. Support your local venues and buy at the bar. But they're really quick to serve. I've, we've had them on airlines, yep. so the trolleys are coming down the aisles. It's quickly, easy to serve. No spillage, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. You just hand you exactly every time a portion. But if you had the option to have a glass. But I would say if you decant it into a glass, you're going to get a better premium experience because with wine, it's all about your olfactory system and, and it's swirling the sniff it like and a the knob. swirl <laughs> and getting <laughs> the aroma, which is so important, especially which is why we use different glasses. <laughs> I'm going to carry on regardless. It's why we use different glasses. But I counter that. In the summer, when you go to the beach or to park or a picnic or whatever, or <laughs> even at New Year's when I was in Cheddar Gorge and walking with some friends, we took some canned cocktails to have at the top of the hill. We've all had holidays. You don't need yeah. to... No, yeah. my point being, <laughs> that, that <laughs> <happy> <laughs> summer. we've all had cheddar. Yeah. <laughs> all been in big holes. It's fine. <laughs> no, but I mean, it doesn't have to be a summer thing. It can also be out and about. <coughs> This has got ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Ridiculous very quickly. Where's the PDAC? It's Bernie Evans. It's not. The it's Peter's just Bernie. Uh, are we saying it correctly as well? Because we had a conversation with Layla. Today? Yeah. No. No. Yeah, no, no that's, that's what you wash your bum in. We had a conversation <laughs> on your feet, which is you what I thought. Wash your bum in. Uh, it's a <laughs> We had a conversation with Layla, who works uh, on the psychic team, and she was saying it's PDAC. 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 From yeah. Tokyo. Tokyo. So look, if you've got it right, what you should have that looks amazing. is a slightly crispy bottom. I don't know if you can, pick, you can get under there. Nice mm. bit of colour. It's crispy, it's not soggy, but you've got all this wonderful lamb fat contained. And then oh. we finish it with blobs of this fessy yoghurt, which kind of melt into it. Do you want what would be perfect now? Sprig of mint. Because don't forget the mint and the parsley is mixed in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, you, meant, you, you, you saved some of the. Um, yeah, you, you meant to save some. Back, yeah, you? you meant to save some. I forgot that. Which yeah, is why I said what would be great <laughs> is a little garnish of fresh mint. Um, but otherwise, that is the pide. One per po portion. Bread, lamb. You got the onion in it. The feta yogurt. Absolutely delicious. Um, it's delicious. Isn't done. It? Whilst we wait to cut into that, can we answer some um, super chat questions quickly? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, super chat. That's going to be so lost, hot. Uh, <laughs> Michelle, lost and hungry tour of Idaho. Sorry, lost, lost and hungry tour of in Idaho. Idaho. Of Idaho. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 We've never done, we've never done it. Lots of potatoes. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, team Dianite, uh, can we do live pass it on with the chat control, with the chat controlling the electric shocks? No. No. Oh, <laughs> we're going to yeah, really that one. Idea. No. So how would that work? So what, you have like a poll and if they get over a certain amount? It would just be person. permanently on. No, but if, if, if we all had one off, yeah, yeah, yeah. and therefore, like, whichever the one gets to, like, like a tug of war. We've, like, seen, those, alive. we've seen those things happen, haven't we, with the yeah. live, and it was blowing up the balloon. What was that? Uh, who uh, did that? Yes. What a great idea! It was blowing up a balloon, and the balloon exploded because the... And, and That's happening. People yeah. So, so like, me, me versus you, so <coughs> in the past on, and people are voting, and the thing is exciting which way Until it hits the end, and then you get a shot. 
That's uh, a great idea. And Tom Butu, or Tom Butu, uh, next time you guys do a poker face challenge, can we do four bad dishes and one good? Wow. And the good has to pretend Tom. that it's bad. You've read all the comments, Tom, because that is already happening next week when we film it. Oh, next week. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, Next I don't. Week. This is the problem. We say we listen to you and we read the comments and we act on it, and sometimes we do it regardless of our own sanity or health. Can I tell something? Honestly, um, truthfully, is uh, Ben told me this last week and he was so angry. About it. <laughs> I was he like, went, he went, I was like, have you heard odds, my odds? Have you heard what they're doing now? They're screwing us in five, yeah. and now it's eighty percent chance. Think of about how much funnier it'll be. It's going to be horrific. Yeah, it'll be really funny. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you want, well done. Look, yeah. for Tetra Flash's point of view, this is our Turkish Lampide sorted. Well, Worried that I didn't say it. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, we can't say that anymore, can we? Because of the you know, so very hot boys. Careful. Uh, and comment down below. Which of the reasons for all of these premium drinks and cans resonates oh, most with you? Is it about exploring new flavours and not having to commit to a whole bottle? Is it about um, low no alcohol options? Is it about the skill of not having mixology at home? Or is it just the idea of sparkles midweek without committing to a popping a cork? Like, comment down below. Why is it that you would enjoy enjoy premium cans at home? How is it, boys? It's always midweek. Really good. Midweek um, sparkles. When I call I this the AOE, it yeah. should be pronounced pid air. Pid air. Pid air. Um, you tell Layla that. I will tell Layla that. Pid air. She did ask. Pidair. She said, Pidair. "I think Pidair. it is," but she didn't know either. She was oh, happy. I just filmed a video downstairs saying, "Feed her the whole time." Good. Well, we've just done all this saying that as well. Right. So that's fine. Barry, we get it wrong. We get it wrong, it's fine. It's our brand. Yes. Yeah. Mm. We're here to that be corrected. That's great. It's fantastic. It's isn't it? That's really good. Yum, yum. I'm very happy. And I should probably say... Do we have any more of the cocktails? We did all... There's more in the fridge. Uh, we did all of this using sort of the psychic recipe. So bearing in mind, the half a pack of feta we used in this, the feta rolls over into another recipe. Mm. We used about two thirds of the pack of lamb mince, mm -hmm. but the other third gets used in a orzo, uh, orzo dish with feta on another day. So basically, that whole pack, recipe pack, yeah. zero yeah. food waste, yeah. will be coming to you uh, next week. This is just one of the delicious recipes. I love it. Oh gosh, what a lovely evening! This has been fantastic. Thank you for joining us. We should do more battle with it. Is it over? No pressure. It doesn't have to be over. We can be. We don't you don't have stop. to go home. It's All we have to you can't stay here. I can't stay here. No. We can. Oh, I'm going to have another can. What are we do next? Responsibly, of course. We're going, we're going, where are we going next? Oh, we're going, yeah, we're going out. We're going out. <laughs> we're going out. We're going out. out. out, out. We're King, going out. King's Cross. Should we go out? Why out? would you say that? King's Cross is not, we're not saying, I'm not saying the exact <laughs> restaurant. Right, platform, really. platform seven. Yeah, nine <laughs> and three quarters. We'll be there. Come to, <laughs> come to King's Cross now. We'll see you there. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. If you, uh, there's a few people in the comments saying that they've joined late on and they're um, disappointed that they didn't get to see the rest of it. We're going to keep the video up. Well, we're going to watch it back and then we'll decide whether we keep it up. <laughs> I think it was good enough. -ish. I think we're okay. Uh, and um, yeah, actually. we will see you tomorrow. What's tomorrow's video? Uh, it's tomorrow. Wednesday the 27th oh. of March. Tomorrow. It's something under a clock. It'd be really special. This was a bonus, not in place of Wednesday's video. Ed, uh, you must know. And this was, we should probably say, we had this conversation. Tomorrow's early. video. I should know that. Global. Oh, global ingredients. Oh no, it's techniques. Techniques. Global yeah. cooking so techniques. Thank, thank, thank you, Ed. Help me, Ed. Help me. <laughs> Help me. Help me. Help me. Ed. We should probably say this was a bonus. So on top of the Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday video, a yeah. bonus. Thanks to Can Makers Committee, yeah. who basically empowered and supported this video and encouraged us to have the conversations, which we have a lot of all the time in our yeah. food trends videos about the importance of sort of sustainable options. And these were our four favourite cans. But keep the comments coming in because we will carry on reading them of what your favourite cans are too. Whilst we open other cans. While we <laughs> open some more cans. The end of our belated episode, we have a plus, plus one. It's plus one. Plus one camera. The plus one however camera. many people yeah. online. We yeah, could so do if you that. Wanna, if you want to join us, with the, um, we're going to King's Cross. <laughs> uh, and it's going to be in about an hour's time. Cut. Uh, I've ended the stream and I don't know <laughs> oh, when it's I actually can, going can, to finish. I can send you the address.